Hi everyone, it's Beck Beattie here today for Richard G'day and today I'm going to share with you a project that I created using one of the latest RG deals called Happy Birthday and this is on offer at the moment so make sure you head over to the website to get your uh, RG deal this week and there's a couple of others on offer which are awesome as well. So uh, first I'll just apologise a little bit that I am struggling with a little bit of a cold so uh, my apologies if I do sound a little extra nasally today uh, but I'm sure that you'll be able to understand me through the video. I'm going to be creating a fun scrapbooking page today of my little boy and uh, this was some pictures uh, from his third birthday so really love these photos and they work beautifully for this scrapbooking page. So for today's page. project I'm going to be using some of the different products in the RG deal so this is the happy birthday RG deal and it contains a stamp set as well as two dies and it's really, really versatile. So you'll see how I use these in my scrapbooking page today, some in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to be teaming up with some of the Fun Stampers Journey products. I'm going to be using the Yellow Sorbet cardstock as well as the Turbo Teal splashes, the colour splashes. And in the background, I'm going to be using, as well as uh, with the stamps, I'm going to be using the Clear Pigment Ink and the Black Licorice Colour Fusion ink pads uh, to create um, some different elements with the stamp set and I'm going to be teaming that up with the confectionery days pan pastel set now in those colors I'm particularly going to be using the dairy large yellow as well as the pastello green and a bit of the bright yellow green tint as well so they're the main colors that I'm going to be using in the background for one of the feature elements or decorative elements to the page, I'm also going to be using this Pacello blue colour as well. So to get started on the project, I first took some vellum and I've actually uh, cut that into um, some like quarters so I've just taken cut those so that they will fit across the die because what I wanted to do was actually create some layers with the die but I wanted it to be quite subtle so that's why I've decided to use the vellum there and I've just put that through my fun stampers journey machine and that will quickly and easily die cut the vellum out and just taking out the little extra little bits uh, that come along with the die. Now I actually did that three times so you can see I've actually got three of those and what I'm doing now is I'm actually cutting out the framed element so I'm, I'm removing that frame element from the die and really hopefully just going to be left with uh, the decorative elements of the die cut so there's a little elephant with presents and extra presents and flowers and also the happy birthday words. Now you can see that I've just layered that into my background and had a little bit of fun there uh, layering that up. So I'm just working out the placement for my layout at this stage and I'm also going to take some of the stamps in the stamp set and I'm going to stamp those out in a couple of different ways. So with the little elephant with the presents, I've actually stamped that with the clear pigment ink and now I'm going to take some of the um, confectionery days pan pastels and as you can see I'm just adding that blue color over the top and that really makes a beautiful soft feature of the stamped image and then just cut that out for a decorative element onto the page. You can see those colours are really, really sweet um, and soft when they're applied in this sort of a way. And we're going to be using those uh, pan pastels again in the background. So now I actually want to take some of the, uh, the word elements and they're going to be my titling features for the page. So I'm just stamping those out and uh, didn't stamp too well the first time, <laughs> didn't have my stamp on there flat so uh, just stamping those out and um, just doing a couple so I've got a couple of extras there and then I'm just going to cut those out so that I can add those as title features onto my page. So now onto the background. So for my background, I actually stopped uh, videoing it for a moment there and a uh, bit of a shame, 
but um, I'm going to quickly show you how I did get started on the background. So first all I did was stamp with the clear pigment ink, um, the happy birthday words, and then I've taken the Pam Pastels in that yellow as well as that sort of uh, soft greeny colour, and all of those colours will be listed individually at the bottom of the video, and then just taken the applicator and um, applied those to the background. So you can sort of see that uh, I've applied that into the background and now I'm just smoothing it off with a clean uh, sponge just to blend that into my background and not have any harsh edges. So you can see that background does come together very quickly. Now I'm just starting to uh, put my design together and work out my placement of the different elements. So you can see the uh, vellum die cut elements really just add this really soft uh, almost an embossed uh, feature to the background so uh, they just add a little bit of shadowing and a little bit of uh, interest to that background and now I'm just playing around too with the the words and where I want to place those now as always I love my Lego boxes well my boys like the Lego and I like the boxes and so I'm just going to add a little bit of strength and dimension behind the elements of the page. So each of the photos, I'm adding a little bit of uh, the Lego box. And also I'm going to layer up some of the different elements um, from the page as well. While I'm doing that, I'm also adhering down the vellum pieces. Now I'm just using a clear glue. And because this is a fairly dry clear glue uh, with a low water content, it doesn't tend to really show through the uh, the vellum as glue spots which is really handy and here I'm just also just adding some more of the vellum to the background and then finishing up with a dimension on the photos now when I'm layering I actually do like to overlap different things so where I've overlapped I just add another bit of dimension so that it makes the uh, the piece that I'm adding to be quite flat so I do like to do that and I often add them uh, in that way so I'll add different layers of the uh, cardboard in the background just to get different levels of dimension on my page so you can see those different titles will uh, have different levels of dimension and also the sweet little elephant uh, I'm going to add to the page as well again just putting a little bit of uh, the cardboard Lego cardboard box behind it and adhering it down so there's my little elephant and there's my little happy birthday or oh, HB uh, short for happy birthday there as well. Now, when I thought I was finished on this page, I wasn't quite because when I looked at it, I felt like it needed a little bit more. And so I did want to add in a little bit more at the end. So you will sort of see that I will move a little that little HB around uh, a little bit later. Now here I'm just going to add some of the um, colour splash. So this is just such a quick, easy application and adds a, almost a real cool finishing touch to your page. So sometimes I find it just needs that little bit more and usually it's just a little bit of splatter and that then I'm done. And I really love um, the effect of that. I also wanted to add a little bit of stitching. So I went over to the sewing machine and just add a little bit of stitching around the page. I like to add a little bit of glue onto the back uh, and I find that that just uh, will adhere where the cottons have ended and saves me having to sit there and tie knots or anything like that. So uh, also just adding a little bit more. So this is where I felt I thought I was finished, but wasn't quite. And I wanted to use uh, this die to add a fun feature to the background. Now, this die is used to actually create a little party hat. However, I wanted to use that on the scrapbooking page and uh, a big party hat uh, with all that dimension <laughs> probably wouldn't work that great unless I flattened it out. Uh, but a little party hat made with it as well as some little finishing features make a really good uh, finishing touch to this page. So as you can see, I'm just cutting it into pieces and adding it around the page. And also here, I'm just cutting out uh, a smaller element out of it. Now I wasn't sure where I was going to place it but then I made this cute little party hat and it looks so adorable. Uh, so I just add a little bit of adhesive to make it uh, stick down and look he's got a little bit of dimension still and in that sort of size I could sort of get away with it so I really love how, how that goes and uh, also too I was just being careful when I'm adhering down I didn't want to adhere uh, adhesive all the way to the corners because I want to continue my stitching onto those pieces so uh, you'll sort of see that I didn't add that right to the end and I will go back to the sewing machine and add those uh, the stitching elements on there. 
Now this little elephant, I've decided to cut him away from the present so that I can give him a little party hat. So a bit like he's attending the party as well. Now that HB, as I said, needed to move because the party hat was going to cover it. So I'm just adhering the little party hat down. And now I'm going to add that HB. And I just feel like that really finished it off. It added the, the bit of the yellow colour that was in the page um, without being over top. And also that stitching over the top really just does finish it. I hope you enjoyed my share today. I hope you uh, it took you a little bit out of the box with regards to using your dies and, and trying to find some different ways to use them. Enjoy the photos uh, following and don't forget to head to my blog for all the details and uh, links below in the video. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a crafty day. Bye.